It is hard to care about a crime that you don't think is happening in your community. So I'll just say it. Human trafficking is happening in Colorado. Victims are being moved on our highways. A state trooper told our Anusha Roy how he managed to rescue a 14-year-old girl. I overheard a bolo um, aired on, which is be on the lookout. It was February. Suspected in human trafficking. And Trooper Brent Crampton was on Highway 287 in Southeast Colorado when he saw a car that matched the description and did what he has done so many times before. With any traffic stop, you never really know what to expect. Inside the car was the driver and a 14 year old girl. We all have a picture of what a normal um, road trip looks like. But it wasn't until the driver was in custody that the young girl felt like it was safe enough to talk. She had been reported missing out of Texas a few weeks before. She told me um, she actually had ran away from home. She was open about the reasons why she ran away from home and what happened that prevented her from being able to go back home and where she was picked up really heartbreaking. She is one of 12 people CSP rescued last year from human trafficking, roughly 10 more people than they usually help. We frequently encounter it on the highways as people are being transported from one location to another. State Patrol is crediting training, including a newer eight hour intensive course and wants to spread the knowledge as far as possible, knowing that in the past they themselves may have missed something. Before I had the training, uh, um, I am concerned that there may well have been circumstances in the past where I allowed a vehicle to go down the road that um, had I had the training, I would not have done so. Um, and that's that's kind of a haunting feeling. It's what's so haunting about human trafficking, because victims can walk right before you. I know they stayed at a, a local hotel and the, actually the person at the counter was like, I didn't even know anything was wrong. Um, and you really don't. You have to really look towards the deeper side. The young girl was reunited with her family. The case against the driver is ongoing and her impact on the trooper permanent. We have the hotline that you can both call and text on the screen there. And we've talked about this before. This is a crime that can be really tricky to get specific numbers about, but we know it's happening here because troopers doing something as routine as pulling a person over for speeding ended up realizing that the driver had an outstanding warrant and then found two girls in that car. And after building trust with them, realized that they were being trafficked. And Kyle, they were able to get them connected to resources and ultimately get them to a place that was safe. Right, and you wonder how many more terrible situations could be avoided if there was additional training. Yeah, I mean, that is the critical point to all of this. And that newer training that the State Patrol was doing, they actually started it before COVID, had to hit the pause button because of the pandemic, and they've started it back up. But, you know, it's not just about law enforcement. They're talking as well to the hospitality industry, the hotels, motels, hospitals as well. Law enforcement un uh, have a lot of their own units dedicated specifically to human trafficking. And CSP is just one of many people that are working on these trainings. Very important stuff, Anusha. Appreciate you bringing that to us.